to today's video, where we'll be exploring one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the SCP Foundation's collection SCP-002, also known as the Living Room. The Living Room is a massive, tumor-like growth with a volume of approximately 60 cubic meters. A valve made of iron leads into the interior, which appears as a simple one-room apartment with modest furnishings. One wall features a single window that is invisible from the outside. The furniture inside the room is made of various biological materials, including bones, woven hair, and other substances produced by the human body. Despite being made of organic material, these objects exhibit DNA sequences that do not correspond to any known species. Due to the highly dangerous nature of SCP-002, strict security measures must be in place at all times. The object must be continuously connected to a suitable power source to maintain its apparent charging mode. In the event of a power outage, emergency protocols must be initiated and the immediate vicinity evaluated. Once power is restored, the area must be bombarded with X-rays and ultraviolet light until SCP-002 is reconnected to the power source and returns to charging mode. The isolation cell where SCP-002 is housed must maintain a low air pressure at all times. No personnel with a security clearance lower than level May 3rd enter SCP-002's containment area, and even then, only with the authorization of two level 4 administrators. The authorized personnel must be accompanied by at least five level 3 agents, and after contact with SCP-002, the individual's security clearance is temporarily revoked, and they are escorted up to 5 kilometers away from the object. The individual must then undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation before their clearance is reinstated. Despite extensive testing, little is known about SCP-002's origins or its unusual ability to transform organic matter into furniture. What is known, however, is that the object is highly dangerous and requires constant monitoring and containment to prevent harm to Foundation personnel and the general public.